Good afternoon, everyone. As a consequence of the present conflict between Israel and Hamas, violent acts of anti-Semitism are being reported in increasing numbers all over the world. I even saw a report uh, this morning from my own uh, local area, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, of someone dressed up as a Nazi uh, protesting in front of a synagogue. Anti-Semitism, anti-Judaism are things which have been with us ever since the book of Esther for certain. And we see significant warnings issued against non-Jewish believers in Romans 9, 10, and 11 regarding natural branches of Israel's olive tree broken off in order to make room for the wild branches being grafted in. And the warning of Paul is clear. If God was willing to break off natural branches in order to put in wild branches, if you are arrogant toward the root, the wild branches can be easily broken off, and indeed, the natural branches can be much more easily grafted back in to their own tree. And many of the warnings which you see in Romans 9, 10, and 11 have unfortunately not often been heeded. I believe when you look at Romans chapter 11, the mandate upon non-Jewish believers is to be vessels of great mercy and grace and understanding to the Jewish people. And that is what, more than anything else, will provoke Jewish people to jealousy for faith in their own Messiah. But how do we stop anti-Semitism? Well, obviously, anti-Semitism, anti-Judaism have been with us for centuries, and it's safe to say it probably will not disappear until the Messiah returns. But each one of us in our own spheres of influence can do things which will see anti-Semitism indeed stopped. And one of the most important things which Messianic congregations, venues online, as we provide through Outreach Israel Ministries and Messianic Apologetics, is to see people educated in matters of Jewish history, Jewish tradition, and Jewish culture. How many misunderstandings have resulted from people not being properly educated and informed? How many people make assumptions, they come to conclusions with not enough information? And how many people have been subjected over the years, whether it's from bad teaching, bad theology, or certain social stereotypes, which can indeed be neutralized if we're willing to speak out against it, to inform people, and to set them on a better path of faith. We are in a very challenging time uh, right now, not just as a planet, not just as a Western civilization, but even as a Messianic community. We don't fully know what the future is going to be, but we can stop anti-Semitism in our own spheres of influence, our own local environments. And one of the things we need to do is better educate people, better inform people. And if that means that we have to take a proverbial detour at times because of a problem which is only getting larger, it seems, then that's what we need to do. Uh, throughout the Israel and Hamas conflict, I have done my best to, when prompted, uh, talk about uh, various aspects of what is taking place and how we can uh, see things hopefully improve. 
Outreach Israel Ministries Messianic Apologetics is an educational ministry. We have to deal with matters of anti-Semitism and anti-Judaism all the time. And indeed, uh, there are many aspects of non-Jewish people having misunderstandings of Jewish history, Jewish tradition, Jewish culture, Jewish stereotypes, which uh, just the list just tends to get larger and larger and larger. And uh, we're going to do our best uh, to examine these things and speak out when we can.